Uh, hello. This is a very simple 8-bit computer I constructed on a breadboard. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the, the, the simplest uh, computer one could create. Um, it's based on the Z80 processor. Uh, it's an old 8-bit uh, processor from Zilog. Uh, the processor is only connected to a single EEPROM chip. I have programmed the EEPROM with a very s with a very short program, uh, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, I've also created a very simple output device. Uh, there is no input and there is no RAM. Just an extremely simple output device. Um, whenever a, an out instruction is executed from the uh, from the processor, um, the output device latches whatever is on the data bus and shows uh, and th th those LEDs uh, show the value. By the way, the LEDs are backwards, so this is uh, bit zero, while this one is uh, bit seven. Uh, so the program I've created is a, is a very simple assembly program. Um, it just starts by loading the accumulator with the value one. And then goes through the loop, outputting the value of the accumulator to the to the output device, and uh, rotating the value over and over again. Um, by the way, I have uh, labeled the various uh, in interesting uh, bits of the of this circuit. So, for instance, um, this uh, is the read signal. Uh, the processor. Um, t turns the signal on whenever it, it wants to read from memory or from an I/O device. Um, then we have the, the data bus over here. These LEDs uh, are going to show the contents of the data bus. Uh, the lowest five bits of the address bus are showed sh sh are shown over here. Um, this is the write signal that comes from the microprocessor whenever it wants to write to either memory or I/O devices. In this case, I'm only writing uh, through the out instruction to the I/O to the I/O device. So that's uh, the only case where this is going to be uh, turned on. And uh, a very interesting signal is this M1 uh, pin of the f from the microprocessor. Um, this one is asserted whenever uh, the microprocessor is trying to fetch an instruction from the from the memory. So we can actually uh, f follow um, the course of execution by um, seeing which is which instructions are fetched and executed uh, at its uh, at its um, clock pulse. By the way. Um, I only have a, a manual clock over here. Uh, by pushing this button again and again and again, you're, uh, I'm going to be pumping uh, the processor clock. So let, 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 let's get started. Um, first, thing fir thing, first things first, um, I, I, I have to keep the reset button pressed for at least three clock cycles for the pro processor to be uh, initialized properly. And then from this point on, we're going to see the processor fetching and uh, executing instructions. So let's see. Uh, M1 and read are asserted, um, and uh, the, the address is uh, zero. So uh, we're reading the value um, uh, that's uh, 3e, um, which corresponds to the first half of the LDA1 instruction. If we pump the clock again, we're going to see another read, but this time M1 is not turned on, uh, because this is the, sec the second half of the same instruction, it's not a, a new instruction cycle. And we're reading from uh, address 1, the value 1. So address 1, the value 1, these things, uh, th 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 these bo both together make up the LDA a one instruction. Uh, if we continue, the next instruction fetched uh, is um, what's this? Uh, that's from address uh, two. Um, that's a three over here and a D. Uh, if we continue, um, that's an FF from uh, address 3 and uh, these two together are the out 256, 255 and the 255 part is the, this FF here uh, with the A register, the accumulator. 
Um, now we have fetched the output instruction, so if I continue pumping the clock, the output is going to be executed. So uh, the data bus is loaded with a value 1, which is uh, the, the contents of the accumulator, and then uh, the, the address bus shows um, the address of the I.O. device. So it's actually 255, but we're only seeing the, the, the bottom 5 bits. And if I continue pumping the clock, now the right uh, line is asserted, and uh, the value is going to be latched to the output device. Here. And as I said, the, the, these LEDs are backwards, but it doesn't matter. Now, the next instruction executed uh, is uh, from um, address uh, 4, obviously, and it's uh, the opcode 7, which is actually the uh, RLCA instruction. Continuing. Um, we now go to address uh, 5 and uh, the instruction here is um, uh, that's a 1 and that's an 8, right? Yes, that's an 8. Okay, so um, that's the first half of the relative jump instruction. So if we continue, we're gonna get the um, destination, the, 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 the displacement, uh, which in this case is a negative value signified by uh, the most uh, uh, significant bit turned on. Uh, in this case, it's the value F5 uh, from address um, 6. And these two together are the JR loop instruction. So we, we, we've seen um, the processor go once through the loop. If we continue on, the next instruction that's going to be fetched uh, should be from address uh, 2. So let's continue. The relative jump instruction takes a few clock cycles to execute. And yes, indeed, uh, we're getting now fr from, from, from address 2 the next instruction, which is again uh, this D3 bit of the out instruction. So uh, the out instruction is going to be executed. Um, The data bus is loaded with uh, the, 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 the contents of the accumulator, which is now have been rotated one bit to the uh, left, and the value is latched to the output. So if we continue this fashion, uh, we're going to see the, program, the, the processor going through the loop many times, and the value of the accumulator always being outputted to our very crude output device. And the result of the program is that uh, this bit um, gets moved to the left again and again and again. And this is an extremely simple 8-bit processor, an 8-bit computer actually, with the Z80 processor executing our very silly instructions. Thank you for watching.